It's amazing how long only a matter of minutes feel when your loved one's been gone for seven months. I'm super excited. You can sense the tension, almost taste the anticipation. Ooh, I'm shaking. I can't wait. I can't wait to see her get off. Soon, the USS George H.W. Bush will be home. Very close. For Crystal Bloom, she's been through this three times before. I got like butterflies in the stomach. That doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, that's it. It's coming. There she is, along with the 6,000 sailors. Nervous. One of those, Crystal's husband, Kent. He said he was in line waiting to get off. <laughs> there are lots of hugs and kisses. <laughs> and finally, love is blooming again for the blooms. But this homecoming doesn't end at the pier. I hope I remember where I parked the car. Husband and wife have something up their sleeves. I gotta get you into the box. I gotta wrap it. I need help. It's a big box. So just close the top. Back at the Bloom's Virginia Beach house. It's almost as if it's Christmas in August. I don't remember getting a present this big, though. The wrap just as patriotic as the family. He's helping. I don't usually have help, so it's kind of nice. And like the wait for Kent to arrive, the anticipation is once again building. Yeah, they're going to be excited. You go take a shower real quick. you got five minutes, just like on the ship. It's Dad who'll now have to take his turn waiting. And another homecoming is on the horizon. Cramp, feels like I'm on the rack in the boat. Definitely gets your heart racing. Oh my goodness, that's huge! Alan, Caroline, and Elijah, ages five, three, and one. We're told to expect a box full of toys. This is to Alan, Caroline, and Elijah from Daddy. It says Home Depot. They're about to get something better. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy. Finally, the blooms are all back together. Daddy, I want to play monster. A homecoming they'll never forget. Definitely worth the wait in the box. <laughs> <That's for sure. laughs> Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Can I start? Not yet. There's a new addition to the pavement of this Virginia Beach court. One, two, three. This one combines. Four, five, six. The love of chalk. Seven, eight, nine. With the need for learning. 10, 11, 12. Kids are out of school for the year. It's definitely been a life-changing experience, I'll say that for sure. But they still need an education. We have to get outside. Otherwise, we all kind of feel a little cramped and cooped up. Seven-year-old twins, Oliver. I had a one right heel on. Yep, this first do three plus three. And Silas are here every day as the blacktop oh, seven plus one is has been transformed into a blackboard Eight. good job right now we're just doing double digit addition and throwing in some triple digit addition mom ashley and dad mark one plus five plus two think of about 30 or so problems for each boy we keep them on a schedule as best as possible that's for sure because um, if not, then it's just chaos. On this street, the sound of school buses have been replaced by the sound of clicking and counting. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It's one of those things where you get fresh air, you're having fun, it's pulling you out, you know, out of the house. You know, it's just a combination of a lot of things. So once we bring it outside, we seem to do a lot more math. Seven plus one equals what? The equations they can come up with are endless. See? There you go, bud. The same can't be said about chalk. Amazon's backed up. <laughs> can't order it. But until then, the Pearsons continue to count their blessings. We're getting by, for sure. I mean, as much as we have hard times with other things, um, we're finding ways to get through it. All right. Letters are the foundation to learning. And that foundation to be truly missed. began and ended with fifth grade teacher Kim Darty. Teaching was her her all. I mean, it's what she did. Darty spent 19 years as a teacher in Perquimans County, the last few at Hertford Grammar. She put a lot of effort into teaching, but teaching wasn't the only passion. Those kids were her passion. We joke every single day. Thursday, on the way back into school after a fire drill, the 45-year-old Darty collapsed. I was. I was right beside her. I was holding her hand. Principal John Lassiter said a prayer. It'd be his last words to her. It's something I'll never forget, um, but there's nowhere that I would have rather been. Friday, the playground is quiet. There are no little voices in the hallways. The heartbreak closed schools when the beloved teacher passed away. It trickled into um, 
every area from this elementary school to the middle school to the high school. First one here in the morning, last one leaving in the evening. Co-workers say Doherty was the teacher's teacher. Kim never did anything less than 100%. It is not easy to be a teacher, and it's extremely difficult to be the type of teacher that Kim is. And it's just a great loss for us. Nothing spelled out pain like the loss of Kim Doherty. The thought of no longer seeing her in the classroom, almost unbearable. The kids knew that everything that she said came from a place of love. Uh, they would run through a wall for her. She will not be forgotten. Her legacy lives on in this school. If you do what you love, You'll never work a day in your life. Kim lived it. The view from Victor Hill's Newport News porch is simply breathtaking. You see amazing things out in that water. Unfortunately, though, Hill hasn't been able to go further than the porch the last couple days. Oh, yeah, I am trapped. Hill, who suffered a stroke Christmas Eve 2009, had his motorized wheelchair stolen from his front yard over the weekend. Easy to lose faith. But he has it. I'm gonna be all right. Then right now, he got me. He using you right now. But the view from that porch is about to get better today. Right. And the tears are once again masked by that infectious smile. <laughs> hey, hey, boy, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to be seen. <laughs> For Hill, help has arrived. The crew at Hampton Roads Mobility brought a much-needed gift. We watched you last night and what happened, and we Appreciate felt so bad. You. Appreciate so you, man. Figured, you know, we got to do something to help you out. A new chair to replace the stolen one. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a workout. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is much better. It's a lot softer than mine. <laughs> Which means there's only one thing left to do. I'm like Tony the Tiger now. <laughs> it's great. And that's, of course, go for a spin. I think I can handle it. Now he's rolling again. Victor's got a great attitude, just loving life, and he shouldn't be locked up in his home. No longer confined to the porch. We need help. Call away your DVD. They get something done for you. Hill can get on with his life. I'm back in the world again. <laughs>to sit there and wonder is it going to stop gloucester residents have seen this act before though it's something that they never get used to water all water no grass no dirt water with high tide the jenkins home on monday's creek road in guinea became part of the creek itself wednesday morning within 20 minutes time the whole yard was covered it came within inches of flooding the house but that yellow wires running across there that's how high the tide was Aldine Jenkins lived here all her life. 82 years. It's been a long time. She's seen plenty of storms. I'm seeing my share of storms. Yeah, I sure is. This one not nearly as bad as the others. A blessing, because it's not easy to tear out everything and put it back. By no means. I've been there, done that three times, and I don't want to have to do it again. Just down the road, Sean Burns spent the day watching daring drivers take their chances with the high water. I'm trying to get a lot of them to slow down. He says those that don't will end up paying the price. Chesapeake Bay Loctite. Because it's come from the Chesapeake Bay. And if it gets into your car, it's going to lock it up tight. As the water goes down for now, he, like everyone else, wonders what will the next high tide bring. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The next one is the one that's going to be the the maximum only time will tell but until then residents just make the best out of a miserable situation said so we had oceanfront property people play you know pay plenty of money to get waterfront property i didn't have to do that <laughs> wednesday the 15th of may 1957 when stormy and jim wright chose this chesapeake home my dear loving wife how are you tonight fine i hope as this letter leaves me okay they never expected the treasure they would find he wrote her so much they wrote each other very sweet the Wrights moved in less than a month ago their first home and they wanted to check out every inch we were checking out to see you know what what all was finished up here but it was in the attic buried in a corner under dust and insulation it was kind of piled around it and the bag was sitting on top a box full of dozens of letters. I hope you are feeling better today. From husband to wife, 
it's very interesting to see that this was the only way that they communicated when he was away on deployment. Been thinking about you ever since I left. Robert and Ethel Davis were married for 48 years. First moved into the home in 1963 when it was first built. Robert was stationed on the USS Valley Forge. Immediately it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. The love affair lasted until Ethel passed in the 90s. Robert in 2012. I would have never in a million years tossed these letters. Stormy jumped on her phone and through websites was able to track down the Davis's family. They still live in the area. I ran around the house screaming to my husband how happy I was that we had found the daughter of Robert and Ethel. The letters will soon be returned. And I feel like they would be really excited to know that another young couple is now living in the home and will treasure it the exact way that they did. And the memories for one couple will live on forever. Tell the children hello for me. As memories for another have just begun. Give regards to all your loving husband, Robert.